Something us drivers can overlook is simple maintenance on our car, which is pretty slack and when you think about it, pretty dangerous. I'm thinking that some of you might not realise how easy simple maintenance and vehicle safety checks can be. Like checking your brakes for wear and tear. In most cases, with a few simple tools, you can check your brakes yourself. At least that way you'll be confident you'll stop. Today, with the help of our friends at United Fuel Injection, we're going to find out just how quick and easy checking the condition of your brakes can be. Now, Matt Craig from United right. Fuel Injection heads up the performance department here at United Fuel. Yep. Now, Matt, I wouldn't feel that confident driving around in brakes I'd changed. However, I'd feel a lot more confident knowing if they needed to be replaced. Absolutely. A lot of people rotate their wheels or whatever it might be, and checking the brakes is just a simple step after that. Now, what kind of um, tools would we actually need well, to do it? Normally with your car, you've got your jack, your wheel brace, um, wheel chocks, all that sort of thing. So you jack your car up, put an axle stand under it, chock the wheels, remove your wheel as per you would any other time. Um, and it, it's all there. It's all there, ready to go. Now, Matt, you've got the wheel off. What are we looking at here? OK, we've got the, the brake disc here. This is the surface that the, the pads run on and slows the vehicle down. Here's the brake caliper. Over time, they will wear. They will get a bit of grit in there. You'll get some funny wear marks in there. These discs are pretty glazed up, so it's probably due for a, a brake, brake rear line. So when you say glazed up, they've got a shine to They them? are very shiny, mate. Yeah, the, the brake effectiveness will be down. So normally that would be quite dull? Yeah, very dull and, you know, you may see some machine marks in there, but, yeah, they've had a bit of a hard time, these brakes. OK, well, how about we get off the uh, the brake pads itself and have a look inside the calipers? Absolutely. Obviously, you're going to need to find the suitable spanners you need to get the get the caliper off. Some require one, some require two, so we'll just quickly take this off. Put that out of the way. Slide your pads out. Have a visual look at them, make sure they're not down to metal to metal now. Mm -hmm. I've got a new pad here that We'll show you what a new one is and what an, what an old one is. Most of them are about that, about 10 mil of pad. So it looks, they look fairly fresh. They're not bad. Only problem with these pads is they've been hot. So they're starting to come away from the actual steel backing. So they should really be replaced. This is the wear indicator that you may hear under heavy braking. It touches on the disc and makes a horrible squealing noise to let you know basically you're down to the, the last bit of your pad. So the squeaking of brakes, can be dust built up in the in the groove here. You know, this is a four wheel drive, gets out in the dirt and stuff, and all the rocks and stuff get stuck in there. And the squealing can also be this this wear indicator plate here. Okay. So there you go, checking the condition of your brake pads is simple and easy. Now, if they do need to be replaced, I'd recommend you get that done by a professional. To find out more, go to zoomtv.com.au and follow the links.